Hey guys, Suze here. Welcome back to another Keto Dinner Ideas video. This week it is all about Keto Pork Chop recipes. So these are all great if you uh, have bone-in chops, boneless chops, or even if you just want to get a big pork loin while they're on sale and slice them yourself like I do. So uh, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. Join the crew. Let's get into the video. I wanna catch the way. First up this week, we have these easy creamy garlic parmesan keto pork chops from Casey Trinum. So to start with, in a large skillet over medium high heat, I'm adding a couple tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Once it's nice and hot, I'm adding half of a sliced medium onion. And I'm just sauteing that for a couple minutes just to let it go ahead and start softening a little. Scooting all of my onions to one side, I'm adding in four boneless pork chops and these are ones that I bought already cut so they're a little bit thinner than the ones I usually cut myself. And we're just going to sear these for about three minutes on each side, scooting my onions out of the way a little. I did salt and pepper these on each side as well. Now flipping those over, we're going to do the same thing on the other side for about three minutes. And when those were about halfway done on the other side, I turned my heat down to medium and added a heaping teaspoon of minced garlic. And I'm just using my spoon to kind of toss that around. And then I'm also gonna kind of scoop it up after I cook it like about 30 seconds. Scoop it up, put it on top of my pork chops because I do not want my garlic to burn and let this finish browning. Now removing my pork chops to a separate plate. I'm just sticking those to the side and adding in one cup of heavy whipping cream and whisking that in, going ahead and scraping up all of the little browned bits off the bottom of our skillet before adding in one ounce of cream cheese. I just broke this apart, as well as a third of a cup chicken broth. I use reduced sodium and a third of a cup grated Parmesan cheese. And then I'm just gonna whisk this all together until it is nice and melted and smoothly combined. Also adding a fourth of a teaspoon sea salt and a half of a teaspoon ground black pepper along with one tablespoon of Italian seasoning and whisking that all in before adding a half a cup extra sharp shredded cheddar cheese and mixing this in until it's melted and I did go ahead and cut my heat down to low and I'm adding my pork chops back to the pan along with their juices and I'm just gonna flip these over and make sure they're nice and fully coated in our sauce and I did go ahead and let these simmer for probably about 10 more minutes on low just to make sure my pork chops were cooked to temperature in the middle and as you can see this makes a whole lot of extra sauce this recipe the original one I have linked down below was for six servings I went ahead and just did four pork chops when I was cooking mine but you might want to do a couple more and here it is plated up over some steamed zoodles just zucchini spirals that I did in the microwave and I topped it with a little bit of shaved Parmesan cheese that I had kicking around in the fridge this was excellent I will say um, as far as using the Italian blend seasoning it is a little heavy on rosemary and I'm not a big rosemary fan so probably the next time I make it I'll make my own Italian seasoning blend leaving out the rosemary but if you're a rosemary fan then you will like that and I still enjoyed it but just not as much as if I would have made my own blend next up we made these awesome keto pork chops with the blue cheese sauce this is from the diet doctor so in a small saucepan over medium heat and taking five ounces of blue cheese what I have here is already pre crumbled but you could use a big block and crumble it yourself and I am whisking this over medium heat pretty constantly to make sure that it melts consistently but doesn't burn and after that is nice and smoothly melted I'm just gonna add three-fourths of a cup heavy whipping cream to it whisk that in bring up the temperature just a little let this come up to a bubbling simmer and then I'm gonna cut the heat down to low and whisk this and just let it cook for a few minutes and then just kind of simmer on low while I get started on our pork chops. And so for those in a large skillet over medium high heat, I have one tablespoon of butter and I'm adding my pork chops to the pan. Again, it's just four boneless pork chops. I did salt and pepper these on each side and I'm going to brown these for about three minutes on each side, flipping them over. And again, just browning them for a few minutes on the other side. And I do have my oven preheated to 350. I'm gonna remove these to a glass casserole dish and just pop them in the oven for about another 10 minutes to come all the way to temperature internally while I go ahead and cook our green beans. So emptying those pan juices from our pork chops into our blue cheese. Just gonna whisk that in there, give it a little extra flavor. 
and then just let that continue sitting. Back to our skillet over medium high heat, I added another tablespoon of butter. Once that was melted nice and foamy, I'm adding seven ounces of long stem green beans. You can use fresh ones. Those will probably taste better, but I honestly love buying the large bags of long stem green beans from Costco. And I just thaw them out a little bit on the counter before I cook them and they taste almost just as good as fresh. I'm just tossing these around with my tongs a little. We're gonna cook these until they're nice and browned. And I'm gonna sprinkle them with a generous amount of sea salt as well as some freshly ground black pepper. And again, just tossing those and cooking them in the butter until they are nice and charred. And here it is plated up. We just have a side of the green beans with our pork chop and our blue cheese sauce drizzled over the top. I did the pinch of parsley on this for just photo's sake. What I will say about this recipe is if you're not a blue cheese fan, you will absolutely hate this because it's just straight blue cheese and cream and that is a very pungent, distinct flavor. My husband and I loved it, but again, it's a very unique flavor. So if you're not a fan of blue cheese, I'm sure you can make this recipe with even like a feta cheese or just a straight melted Parmesan sauce and it would be excellent that way as well. Next step, we're making these super easy instant pot sour cream pork chops. This original recipe is from Wholesome Recipe Box, so I'll link that down below. You could also make this on your stove top pretty easily. So to start with in our instant pot and in the saute function, I'm adding a tablespoon of butter and then I'm adding one small to medium onion that's just sliced up into wedges. Stirring this around, I'm just gonna cook it about a minute just to let it go ahead and start the softening process. Then I'm scooting my onions to one side and adding in four boneless pork chops. Now these are actually pork chops that I sliced from a big pork loin myself. I highly recommend you do that. Most of the grocery stores around me constantly putting their pork loins on sale. It's so much cheaper than getting them already sliced up. Scooting those onions over on top of the other ones to squeeze in our last two pork chops and we're just going to cook these a couple minutes on each side just to brown them a little. Seasoning them with some sea salt as well as some freshly ground black pepper. And we're just gonna flip them over. You can see it was stuck a little there in my Instant Pot. I'm gonna add a little bit more sea salt and ground black pepper on this side as well. And then flipping them back to the original side we started on. I'm going to add one cup of beef broth to our pot along with one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And just using a spoon to kind of mix that around and scraping the bottom of the Instant Pot while we do that just to make sure we get up any kind of browned bits off the bottom. Once I have those all situated, I'm going to pop my lid on. We're going to cook this on high pressure for eight minutes. Now after that cooks, I let it naturally release for five minutes and then I'm just throwing a dish towel over it to kind of block the steam from hitting the camera and using my slotted spoon to slide that vent so that we can let out the rest of the steam without burning ourselves. And once we have that out and it's safely done, we're gonna open it up. This is what it looks like. Even cooking just eight minutes on high pressure, they're all nice and tender. Using a slotted spoon to pull those out into a separate dish for a moment. Turning our Instant Pot back onto the saute function and sprinkling a fourth of a teaspoon xanthan gum to help thicken this up. Just gonna whisk that in and let it simmer for a few more minutes. After it does, I turned the heat off on the Instant Pot, let it cool for a few seconds, and then I'm adding in a third of a cup sour cream and whisking that in until it is nice and smooth. And after I did that, it still wasn't as thick as I would like, so I added another fourth of a teaspoon xanthan gum and whisked that in as well. And then I just added my chops back to the pot and stirred them around to make sure they were nice and fully coated. In the meantime, I went ahead and popped a little steam bag of cauliflower rice into the microwave, seasoned it with some salt, pepper, and butter. And here it is plated up. I just served the pork chop with the sauce right over that cauliflower rice. This was excellent. This was probably, mm, this might have been my favorite of the week. I don't know, it's a hard call because I love pork chops so much. By the way, if you're not a fan of pork chops, you could definitely make any of these keto pork chop recipes with chicken or beef, and I'm sure they would be just as good. Last up this week, we have a super simple recipe from Keto for Carboholics. It's a buttered pork chop, so I'm opting to cook mine in the crock pot, but her original recipe link down below does have oven recipe directions. So to start with my crock pot, you see I just sprayed it down. 
putting in four boneless pork loin chops that I salt and peppered on each side and then I'm evenly sprinkling two teaspoons of garlic powder over each of them. So a half a teaspoon of garlic powder on each along with two teaspoons of chives over each and I just always use the uh, freeze-dried chives you just get in the spice section along with one teaspoon of dried parsley and half a teaspoon of sage and then I'm just drizzling them with a couple teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil putting a tablespoon of butter on each one and pouring in half of a cup of chicken broth into the bottom of our crock pot then I'm putting the lid on and because I am impatient, I'm cooking mine on high for four hours. You could do low for eight hours or a combination of the two. This is what they look like after they are done. And I did pop some broccoli into the microwave to steam and plated it up with that. Here you go. These were also tender. Of course, the longer you cook them in the crock pot, the more tender they would be. These were excellent. Probably my second favorite pork chop recipe of the week. So there you are. That's this week's keto dinner ideas video. I hope you enjoyed it. All about the keto pork chops. And again, just an awesome tip to buy yourself a large pork loin and slice it yourself into boneless chops and just freeze them into the portion sizes that you prefer to cook. Any of these you can add more pork chops to pretty easily. It made more sauce than I needed for the amount of pork chops that I cooked. So next time I make any of them, I probably will add two more pork chops to eat. But this is how I had mine packaged in portion sizes of four. So that's what I went with. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any suggestions you have for future videos share it with your friends subscribe to our channel so you never miss one of our weekly cooking videos and until next time bye